GM shows off a new global econo box, a tuning shop makes the Acura NSX more Japanese, and a Swedish supercar could get two extra doors. I'm Alex Gazella, and you are watching Fast Lane Daily. It's Fast Lane Daily with Alex Gazella. Just the bad things I've heard about it. Today, I'm going to show you Linda's Mojave. Well, that looked pretty simple. Okay. I'm actually blown away. I'm thinking I'd like to have this. Actually, this is Vista. Really? So what looks like a cross between the Chevy Malibu and a Chevrolet Beat concept? No, not Wilfred Brimley. It's the new Chevrolet Cruze. Chevy released the first official shots of the Cruze earlier today, along with new info ahead of the global model's debut at the Paris Auto Show later this year. GM says Chevy Cruze buyers will get a choice of three engines when the new small sedan launches in Europe in 2009. That's 112 horsepower, 1.6 liter, 140 horsepower, 1.8 liter, and a 2.0 liter turbo diesel producing 150 horsepower. No word yet on U.S. specs, but word is the cruise could get up to 45 miles per gallon when it hits showrooms next year. And you say you've always wanted a Japanese spec Honda NSXR, but live in a land where Japanese horsepower goes to die? Well, look to the Spoon Sports. The longtime Honda Motorsport partner says it plans to convert U.S. spec Acura NSXs into clones of the NSXR. That's the track-oriented, higher-performance NSX model released only in Japan in 2002. The conversion includes a laundry list of mods, including stiffer springs and shocks, larger anti-roll bars, slotted brake rotors, and a rear diffuser. To reduce weight, Spoon says it'll replace the hood, rear spoiler, and seats with carbon fiber pieces, as well as take out all the sound deadening material and replace the spare tire with a can of Fix-A-Flat. No word yet from Spoon on the price, or if the conversion includes right-hand drive and a fireproof kimono. Next up, a Swedish supercar that didn't forget the family, and a higher performance Audi S5 gets closer to go time. That's in the internet rumor mill right after this. You're familiar with the death race. The drivers are convicts and the rules are simple. It's kill or be killed. I can see the appeal. Win and get your freedom. Let's play a little offense. <laughs> You're out in front. Who are you going to shoot at? Hold on. I love this game. You can burn me, you can shoot me, but you can't kill me! Get it all starts August 22nd. All right, guys, I am super excited. Tomorrow, Death Race starring Jason Statham is in theaters. I better see you there. So, you know what? You've got your six-figure Koenig's egg, but you need room for the Rugrats. Fear not, young parent with uber cash to burn. The UK's car magazine says the Swedish supercar maker is working on a four-door model. Word is the Koenigsegg will be built entirely from carbon fiber, and while there will be a family resemblance, the four-door will be built on an entirely new architecture than the company's CCX supercar. And power will likely come from a 700 horsepower V8 to be named later. Carr says a prototype version of the four-door Koenigsegg is expected for Geneva Motor Show in 2010, ahead of a market launch in 2011. But that all depends on whether the Swedes can score some important development cash, most likely from guys for whom holding hands doesn't mean what you think. And finally, when's Audi planning to debut the RS5 